Hello. Um, I'm no. It's I'm just talking to my live my viewers. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. Orion, it's fine. There's nobody here. I'm talking to my live viewers. Yeah, you're fine. You didn't miss anything. Okay. Um, uh, so I decided that for today, since, um, and I guess I, I could probably show, can I show this comment? Yeah. Yes, I thought that what I would do for today, since it's been a while um, that I've been live, I will, and I'm going to share myself right now, so hold on a second. That still applies. Still have to do the difficult part. Okay. Um, ay, ay, ay. Cooperate. Cooperate. I thought what I would do is not only catch up with you guys on everything, all the news that's fit to print, but because um, it's been a while since I've been live because I had, you know, my the hip surgeries and I had my car accident right in between the two hip surgeries, which was just crazy. Really, really sucky timing with that one. Um, but then the holidays came and, you know, you're kind of just doing holiday stuff. So, um, but I have been collecting and ordering all of these great new things that LuLaRoe has come out with. And so I haven't been able to show you. I realized the last time I ordered a box, everything I ordered started with the letter N, which was kind of weird because it was Nora. No, not N. I do have some Nora, but it was Linda, Lulu, and Lux. Everything started with the letter L. So it was really kind of weird. We haven't had that many L things, but now we have a lot of them. So um, I don't see any comments. So say hi if you can hop on and post a comment because otherwise I won't know if you're here. So since I can't tell who's watching, but I made outfits. So I made outfits, which are a combination of the Lindas, the Lulus, and the Lux. Oh, hi, Tiffany. Um, and Happy New Year. Uh, and also with some of the great outdoors that I still had left over. So I do have a bunch of really nice outfits for you guys. I was go I was planning to actually wear to put on a Linda, and I forgot to do it before I went live. Oh, hey. Hi, Stephanie. I was going to show you what the Linda looks like, and I totally forgot. I have mine upstairs. I left it upstairs, and I was going to put it on with the Lux leggings because I got a pair of Lux for myself that are, um, they're like the velour, but they're like embossed. Really, really pretty. The pattern is embossed in the velour. It's so gorgeous. But some of the Lux are going to be the Moto style, and some of the Lux leggings are going to be the faux leather. So I got all of them here in the sale if you want to see them. I wore an outfit yesterday. I put a picture of it on my group page and everybody really liked it. And it was an oversized Renee, the balloon sleeve Renee with moto leggings. And one of my friends, I forget who it was, but she's like, oh, I'm really loving the flash dance vibe. I, it might have been um, Laura. It might have been Miss Laura. Um, not Laura Cravey, but Laura that um, brings my, that cooks our dinners. But some of you really were into that too. And you're like, I want that exact same outfit. I tried to construct one over here. It's an oversized Renee. So it's like a 2X Renee with a tank top underneath it. And it falls off to one shoulder. And then you have the Lux leggings underneath in the Moto style. And it's really, really cute. So I can replicate that um, depending on sizing, if it'll work for you or not. But anyway, I am <coughs> almost, almost recovered from my surgery. I'm just having probably more difficulty with my incision than with actually the surgery itself. So the joint is like kind of stiff and a little bit sore. I wouldn't really say I'm in pain, but um, it's been three weeks today since I had surgery on the right hip. This one now is about 10 weeks along since I had surgery on the left side. Um, and I just had some complications with this, the stupid incision because it, they didn't like close it all the way with the glue. So it kept on coming open and it was like bleeding, which was not fun. And um, 
it finally has stopped bleeding because I went to see the surgeon and he put some Steri strips on it to kind of keep it shut. But oh my God, what a pain in the ass. That was really a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, because I was very uncomfortable and the damn aqua cell um, bandage that they put on you when you leave the surgery center that is like impervious to water or whatever. Well, that thing does not breathe. And so my skin got very like... Um, rashy, like I got a rash and it itched like crazy. And I think that was bothering me more than anything else. So like I would not be in pain, but I would be itching so bad I wanted to die and it would keep me up at night. Um, honestly, really that's been the harder thing with this surgery to overcome. So it's not so much about um, <coughs> the pain from the joint issue. It's really more been the dumb incision. I went in there to talk to the surgeon. I said, you guys didn't close this thing all the way. I just hit the nail right on the head. Oh, I got to tell Joyce, wait, I am live now. I'm going to text Joyce because I've got green stuff. Oh, and we have a new shopper too. Anissa. I think I'm saying her name right. Anyways, she came to my house and she bought a bunch of stuff. She loves LuLaRoe and she had been buying from someone who is out, went out of business. So we may see her pop on. If we see Anissa pop on, Anissa Pelham, um, definitely say hi. I told her we would make her um, feel at home. And so I'm hoping that we'll see her pop on. Um, oh, I know Morgan. Yeah, Morgan's like, it sounds miserable. I know it really was. And it was like not something that you think is going to be a complication of hip surgery. I mean, it could happen with any surgery. And really, it's not bad. I mean, it was bleeding out of this tiny little part, but I kept on like filling up the aqua cell. <laughs> That's what was so stupid because we changed it once. And I'm just thinking... This thing has been on my skin for way too long, but I know it's really gross. But anyway, so I'm back and I feel like I haven't gone live in so long. I was going to forget how to do it. I was like, I don't remember what buttons to press. Okay. So we have some really pretty outfits and I'm just going to start there in no particular size order. Cause you know how I do outfits in no particular size order, but there's a bunch of new things. So we have the new Linda and I was really, really excited about the Linda. And you know why I think I, I, kind of tell me if I'm wrong, but I kind of liken the Linda to a long sleeved Irma. I'm just saying that, well, cause I'm, uh, sentimental about Irma because I miss Irma, but, um, the Linda has the dolman sleeve and I really kind of like the taper on the sleeve. And I like the fact that it's a dolman sleeve. This is the type of shirt I would look for. When I would go shopping and, you know, in the days before LuLaRoe, I would always look for this particular silhouette. It's kind of like, I want to say triangle shaped or like a rhombus or something. I don't know. But it does taper a little bit at the waist. So it's wider on top. And I don't know why, but I just feel like that's a good silhouette for me and for a lot of people. I think that it has an illusion of making you look slimmer because if the thing tapers in the middle like this, it kind of gives you a waist. So it makes you look more broad shouldered and then tapers down. So that is my assumption is why it looks good. But I was like I said, I was going to put one on. Shoot. And I got a really cool one, too, that I really like in turquoise. I feel like running upstairs and putting it on, but I'm not going to do that because I have to take off like all these layers. But this is a, oh, so I put this with some of our great outdoors legging. So remember that the great outdoors legging is a corduroy legging, but really soft corduroy. It's soft and bendy. Do not think about like corduroy as in like your grandfather's corduroy jacket. Hi, Eliza. Oh, that's the other thing. We have a new piece called Eliza which is a hoodie, but it's got a V-neck. And some of you, I think Heather Alcott is, is an example of this. Some of you, um, you want to wear a hoodie, but you don't like the feeling of it like this. So the new Eliza would solve that because it would have V-neck. So what happened was I had made this order of the Linda. I really, really wanted Linda. So I got Linda, spent all my money on Linda, right? And I hadn't gone live in a while, so I didn't have any more money coming in. So then they launched Eliza like two days later and I couldn't get it because I was dead out of money and I was not going to put it on credit card. So um, 
after this, depending on what I sell, I'm going to go back and order Eliza because they're still available. So I will get some Eliza after this, but I have to see if I sell something. Okay. So this is Linda. So Linda, I'm really, really liking it. I love the silhouette. I love the shape. I think it's good for work. I think it's good for staying around the, the house, whatever you want. It's $40 um, and they are long sleeved and man, I really should have put that one on that I have upstairs. I'm really stupid. <laughs> I forgot to do it. So I might, maybe what I'll do is just put it on and take a picture of me or I'll go live again or something. I don't know. If Joyce doesn't get on here, I'm going to have to go live again. Joyce, by the way, had a location change. She moved from California to Texas. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but she has relocated to Texas to be closer to her son. This is 3X. Check this out. This is 3X right here. So 3X Linda and 3X uh, outdoor leggings, great outdoors leggings in the corduroy. So it's a beautiful like a plum corduroy. And this is a little plum stripe going through here. Gray background, gray, white, and plum. Hey, Janet, it's been a long time. And I have not been live in forever. So I'm just jumping on today. Everyone's gonna be like, what's all the new stuff? Okay. So yeah, a bunch of new things. I have my cheat sheet here and it's exploding with you cannot, this is like unreasonable to expect anybody to keep all of these prices in their head. Like, oh, Lordy, Lordy. I'm having to make like notes all around the margins here, but there's just a lot of stuff. Okay. So these are the great outdoors leggings. Now the great outdoors leggings are $42 and the Linda is 40 and this is outfit 78. And what I'm doing is every time that we sell an item, I'm donating $5 for every item to the Cherokee County Animal Shelter. I've already made my donation this morning for Betty White. So in honor of Betty White, I have already made the donation. Um, and I'm going to do some more. So whatever you guys buy, I'll do $5 for every item to the Cherokee Animal Shelter uh, before midnight tonight so that it can be part of the Betty White birthday celebration. So we're doing that. Um, so what is, wait, let me read your question. What is the difference between legging fit and slim pants? Um, well, they fit, they fit like leggings, but they come in sizes. So it's like small, medium, large, extra large, two X, three X. So, um, you go by your size. I would say whatever size you are, like in jacks, it's true to size. It's a true to size fit. That's true of the Lux leggings as well as the great outdoors, but they'll be small, medium, large, extra large. So um, go by your jack size and, and they'll be fine. There's plenty of room and they're plenty long because I have been wearing them and I have like five pairs of these corduroy leggings now because they're perfect for the winter. They keep you so much warmer. And Jenny Hurt says, hi. It's so good to see you guys. And Debbie, Debbie, <laughs> Debbie is buried in the snow. <laughs> Debbie had pictures of her house. I know so much snow in Toronto. Oh no, the highways are closed. The QEW, Queen Elizabeth Way. Do you have moto? I do have moto. Um, I got a few moto. See, when you order Lux leggings, there's three different kinds. And so you order them and you're going to get like, again, it's LuLaRoe. So they randomly send you whatever. So I got some of them that are the velour, some of them that are the faux leather and some of them that are moto. So it, I couldn't choose. In other words, I couldn't like say, oh, I want only moto. I do like the moto. And I kept a pair of gray ones for myself. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the fabric on... <laughs> Eliza's like, I'm buried in Texans. The fabric on these corduroy is thicker. It's thicker than, all of them are thicker than regular leggings. So they will keep you warmer. So I will show you another example. Now here comes an example. This is so cool. This is why I wanted Joyce to jump on. <laughs> it is a Joyce Roberts outfit. And let me tell you what happens when Joyce is not on and some. I hold up something green. Lisa Jones will buy it and Joyce will miss out and I can't do anything else because I already messaged her. So I can't, yeah. But this is extra large Linda. Isn't this pretty? It's a green Linda with 
um, the tie dye kind of look to it. Isn't that cool? And look at these leggings. So these are Lux leggings and you can see they're the faux leather. So it's like a shiny green leather and they are, they're a lot thicker than regular, you know, regular leggings. They're kind of like, we used to call this pleather. You know, like in the 80s and 90s when it would be like pleather. <laughs> but they feel really nice. They don't feel cheapy. I have a pair of these um, upstairs. I have a purple pair. Obviously, I have purple. So, but they are the Lux. Now, this pair happens to be a large. So, the size on the leggings is large. And again, you want to go with probably your Jack's pant size. But they're going to fit um, like leggings. They're going to be form-fitting is the word I'm looking for. I know De Debbie's, uh, yeah, Debbie's um, snow situation. I saw it and they're like, they're in there going, no more snow. Well, we had flurries. There's still some out there on my, on my deck stairs and on my um, patio furniture and stuff, but most of it has really like melted from the grass. So we don't really have much left, but we had kind of a dusting and it snowed for a good like several hours last night, but it was just kind of like flurries. So it, did, it wasn't heavy enough to really stick. I mean, it was pretty to watch coming down, but it never got to the point where it was like heavy snow showers, which would have, you know, and that's fine because this morning the roads were dry and everybody was able to go. And dance, yeah, Lisa goes, I'm tempted. <coughs> it, it, the, the roads were dry. Everybody was able to go to work. I would just as soon have snow that is nice to watch and light little fluffy flakes and then it, nothing really sticks and it kind of goes away the next day and you can just go to work. That's fine with me. Okay, this is 220. So this one is extra large on top, Linda, large leggings on bottom. I do have other green things coming though. All right, now for a pair of the Moto. So here comes Moto. This is the difference and you're getting to see like different kinds of leggings here. So do you see the stripes? These are... Um, these are like the material is, I mean, I guess you guys have probably seen Moto leggings like folded over and sewn. Um, I forget what they called that when we had those. Shoot, Laura would remember when we had those shirts that looked like a ribbon. Um, phooey. Gigi came in that. And I have one in my closet, but I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, it's when the material is like folded over and sewn. So these are the Moto. Again, there's a picture of me wearing my gray pair a um, couple days ago, maybe in the VIP group. This pair is large. It's a nice like burgundy color. And I put it with this large Linda. So this is a large Linda the burgundy stripe and the gray background and the white stripe. Yeah. I mean, they're pleats, but there was a, there was a word. Hey, Laura, what was the word for, remember the GGs that had this kind? Yeah. Pin tuck. Jonelle got it. Ah, pin tuck. She knew exactly where I was going with that. So it's kind of like a little pin tuck stripe and it's sewn. Each of them is sewn. So they're not going to come undone. So that's number 53. So large and large. You have a burgundy here and then you've got your gray background and your burgundy and white little wavy lines here on the Linda. So that's number 53. Again, the Lux leggings are all $44 no matter which style you're getting. And we're going to get to a slightly different a slightly different style and I love these. So get ready for this. Um uh, this is a killer outfit. So here's a solid black Linda. Solid black, Linda. It's so nice to be live with everybody again. It's been a long break, hasn't it? You got to catch me up if anything else uh, is different with you guys. Large Linda in black. And then these are so cool. You're lucky I didn't keep these because they're plaid and they're black and white. These are medium luxe leggings. And you know what material this is? It's Liverpool. These are, so they're definitely thick. You know what Liverpool is? Liverpool is what the Cassie is made of. And also the Ivy. So you know Liverpool. If you have Cassie, Ivy, it's stretchy. It's still just as stretchy, but it's a black and white plaid. So these are medium. That's the size that I've been wearing in the Lux. I like medium for me. And then here is large, solid black Linda. So this is a really a kick-ass outfit if there ever was one. So this is going to be outfit number 64. And Eliza says, how do they fit? like the, do they fit like the Renee? 
you know, there is a comparison to the Renee. There is, in a way, a comparison to the Renee, which, I mean, I think of the Renee as true to size. But Renee is funny because I've oversized it and I've sized down. So Lux is just the different type of leggings that come in. Well, I guess they come in four different materials. I was thinking it was three, but I guess it's four. They could be velour. They could be faux leather. They could be moto. And they could be this Liverpool. So it's different kind of leggings. And so that one is number 64. And I know Morgan says we missed you. Thank you. Now I've got this really cool Linda. So here's a tie-dye. Linda tie-dye. It's hot pink. This is extra large. And these are jacks. So I have extra large jacks that match perfectly. So, oh, I know. Yeah. In the Renee, I know Renee is, there's some variability. This also has, I think, because there's just some room in here, but it is a little more tapered at the waist, but so is Renee. So you might want to stick to your favorite Renee size. Um, I just think these dolman sleeves are flattering on every body type. So I love this one. Um, hot pink and matching jacks, really nice matching outfit. So you have extra large and extra large. And so that's 198. So we still have snow on the ground. Oh yeah, Lisa, probably you have a lot more. We, we really did not get a lot of snow in Canton. And it's funny because in Canton, usually we do get more snow than like Woodstock or the areas that are further south. I don't know what happened this year. The storm came around and it swirled like like a circle. And in the center of the circle was a void, like almost like the eye of the storm, like the eye of a hurricane. And Canton for the longest time was sitting in that void. And the storm is like swirling around and like Woodstock's getting snow and Midtown was getting snow and Roswell was getting snow and Canton had nothing. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it was pretty disappointing. I know Laura said she had a half an inch. I measured kind of on my railing. And I think it was maybe a quarter of an inch, not even a half an inch. Okay. This is a really pretty Linda. This is a three X. It's a Paisley. And this one I have put with the great outdoors leggings, which are the corduroy in two X. So you see that gold color in the pattern there in that Paisley. There is some burgundy. There's white. It's a black background. Um, it's a dark, dark purple. It's kind of burgundy or purple-ish. And then this is like that um, topaz color. So um, this, again, was a really nice match. 3X top, 2X bottom. And that is 126. Now, I've got the same pattern. This is medium now. And so I'm showing you how the plum great outdoors leggings will work with this also. You could go topaz or you could go plum. Both colors are in the shirt. So it's a medium Linda and these great outdoors are medium. So you can go that way with it. And I thought with the Linda, the nice bottom to go with that would either be a Lux legging or a great outdoors legging. Cause it's a little bit more substantial than like a, just a regular legging. Um, and I thought with the fact that the shirt tapers, that might look really nice. So again, I have a fantastic outfit upstairs. I wanted to show you and I forgot to put it on. I'll have to wear it next time I go live because I'm sure we'll have Linda and Lux. Again, I'm I'm really enjoying the Lux leggings and I want to get more, but we need to order um, Eliza. So I'm going to have to probably get Eliza with some more Lux maybe. Um Okay. The other thing I ordered new for you guys is more Lene. You're going to see some Lene. You know why? Because you love it. You want different color legs. Oh, okay. So you want to do, um, okay. You want to do the three X in that Paisley. So say, wow, 126. And then I'll do, um, we'll do, uh, just say, uh, yeah, shirt only top only. Do you want this color? Cause this, I think I have this. In, I know I have it in other sizes. This one happens to be a medium, but I've got other sizes. If you want to do this color, we can maybe do this color. So this is 253, or you might see another pair elsewhere in the sale and just claim it that way. Just claim the number and doesn't say leggings only. So this is medium and medium. 
So we're going to take 126, the shirt for Eliza. I know. Don't you like the Paisley? That was another, when Anissa came over to shop, I said, okay, there's, there's a lady in our shopping room named Lisa Jones. She really likes Paisley and this would be right up her alley. So I was pointing out the fact that I remember what you guys all like, such as, you know, the green stuff and the, if it's dinosaur stuff or planets or constellations that I really do try to look out for everybody and get their unicorns. Um, <clears throat> And it was funny because I did, I did put some stuff aside, some green stuff. I didn't, I wanted to make sure I saved it for Joyce. Burgundy. Okay. They're probably further back in the, in the thing. Oh, wait a minute. No, I know where they are. Hold on. What size do you think, Eliza, in whether it's small, medium, large, extra large, what size burgundy do you need? This Topaz is a 2X and it's 135. Because right here I have um, 3X burgundy. And then, and then let's keep going because there's probably some more um, further on in the show. Now look at this one. This is so pretty. This is a Linda 2X. It's gray and white and charcoal, like a really pretty kind of a tie-dye or splotchy effect. And I put it with 2X Diane, dark gray Diane. So here another, another thing I think would look nice with Linda is the Diane paper bag pants. Okay. So here we have the shiny and accordion pleat. Very, very thin accordion pleats. The pleated Diane. And then we have the 2X Linda. I really love this design. It's like gray, splotchy clouds kind of thing. Oh, and by the way, Eliza, she just donated $5 to Cherokee County Animal Shelter. I should keep track. Well, I don't know. I can count. <laughs> so yeah, but for every item we sell, I'm going to do another $5 tonight. I already did my thing this morning, but I thought, why not just do a fundraiser and I'll do some more. Okay. So this is going to be outfit 206. So it's 2X Linda Dolman sleeve and 2X paper bag pants, Diane. Now here we've got that burgundy again, the gray, white, and burgundy. This time it's a medium. And this time I'm showing it with cozy hazel. Do you have Diane in extra large in color? I've got a ton of Diane. Um, I might have a gray Diane uh, from Chambray collection. So it's like the shiny gray. I don't really have a burgundy Diane, but I, but I will look because Diane is cool. Okay. But here, look what I did. Cozy Hazel. You know, Hazel is like the Jacks, but shorter. So it's a cropped, but this is burgundy and it's velour. So very soft velour burgundy, um, medium and medium. They are both medium. And just keep in mind, the Hazel pants are cropped. So on me, they're like way above the ankle. It is not a good look, I don't think. But it's what Laura prefers. They are the right size for her. So it's perfect. Okay. Uh, number 12, I will, you have to go, ha, Debbie has to go shovel. Be careful. Snow shoveling can be dangerous. So be careful. This is number 12. Now here we have some Lulu. Okay. Lulu. I saw Lulu at convention and I had a different, I have to go back and look at my pictures of what I saw. I swear to God, they changed it. I'm not making things up. When I saw the Lulu set at convention, I could have sworn that it was a waffle material. And I'm not crazy. I could have sworn it was waffle material. Lulu came out just re right before Christmas and I bought just a handful of them and I got smaller sizes because I wasn't sure. If you have short, if short legs. <laughs> Height challenged. Not gonna say the word short. It's not politically correct. <laughs> Yeah, so Crystal gives you that option, that it's not going to be so, so, so long. So, all right, now, this is a Lulu set. Lulu makes your Lula suit for you. So 
um, they are like Jack's pants on the bottom. And then it's like, kind of like a cropped, um, what is that sweatshirt that we just have? I just put one of them in a sale too. Hannah, it's kind of like a Hannah. So, and when I say cropped, don't freak out. Um, it's not cropped like you're like, uh, you know, 1985 and Tiffany. I think we even know now. It's not like that. So, yeah, Laura, see, I think they did change too. So the Lulu set is $82 because it comes together, comes together. The pants have a patch pocket here. Um, it's a lot like Jack's. You have the um, sweatshirt material. So it's like a flannel on the inside, really soft. Um, I, I love it. I got one for me. I'm wearing small. This is a medium. It's a great tie dye print. Um, and then you never have to worry about it not matching. It will always go together. So this is going to be number 97 and it is the Lulu set. 97. Uh, we also have this bright one in small. There's some great tie-dye. Look how cute these are. Really, really colorful. Lots of rainbow, um, like raspberry, purple, blue. So this is going to be number 85. This one is a small, and that is what I am wearing in the Lulu. That's number 85. And then I have an extra small. I was ordering some extra small to see which one Marina might like. Um, this is a tie dye. It is a gold, like gold tone and light yellow. So that is extra small number 97. And then I have a medium. This is a really pretty floral medium. And again, they totally match. So you can wear them. I, I wear it to work, but I mean, I, I'm allowed to wear whatever I want for work, but I think it looks fine to go into the office. Very, very comfortable. This is $2.97. It's a medium. And then this cute one is extra small. This is another great pattern, another like shibori tie-dye black and white. So um, I was kind of ordering the extra smalls to see which one Marina would want. So that's number 29. Now, remember how I told you I went back and got Lene. We've not had new Lene in a while. And I know Lene is one of your favorites. It's reliable. We know Lene. It has the scoop neck. It is the long sleeve version of the classic tee, which we don't have anymore. But this is a large green and white polka dot Lene. And I've put it with some TC2 leggings. It was the best green color that I had to match. So um, they're TC2. None of my other leggings were close enough to the color green. So that's number 60. That is large polka dot Lene. And then I also got the Aaron, because the other thing you guys really like right now is Aaron. So Aaron collar is a little bit higher than the Lene. It's a little more sporty looking. It's got kind of a sweatshirt look here. This one. Oh, and the material is, um, I don't know. I get, they probably refer to this as the, um, as the uh, French Terry, but it, it seems like it's French Terry, but it's softer. It's not, it's softer than Jack's. And it's, I think it's a little bit thinner. They have so many different materials now. I can't keep up with all of them, but it feels like marshmallow on the outside. So this one happens to be a large and it is the camo, a really nice colorway in the camo. Aaron's are very long. They're tunic length. And that's one reason why I really like them. They're longer than the Lene. Um, and I put this with a pair of distressed charcoal size 40 denim. This is number 24. Also have another black and white outfit for you here. So another Aaron. Again, Aaron, long. It will go way past your waistline, way past your butt. It will go probably down to almost mid thigh. Um, Aaron's are just really long and long sleeve again, a little more casual than the Linne, but this one is a medium. Um, I'm probably right now basically wearing a small in Aaron because I have lost the weight, but this is a pair of medium black corduroy leggings and medium 
plaid, black and white Aaron. So that is just a really classic outfit. Fantastic outfit number 128. Now here, this is perfect. Look at this. Here's that medium green, dark green and white polka dot Lene. And I put it with the matching green, great outdoors leggings. Now these happen to be small. So small green on the leggings, but the Lene is medium number 67. Are you saying that because of the size? Okay, but check it out. This is super cool. Here you have a Lene. This is one of the new Lene's. It is an animal print, really cool animal print. It's kind of got like a buff color and black. So wore Aaron to church. I know. I love the Aaron because it's just long and it's like more flowy and that you can wear with any bottoms that you want. So this one is a 2X Lene and these are Lux. So this is Lux. Like you get a little special tag with your, does it make you feel special here? See this? It's a special black, shiny LuLaRoe tag. So this one is 2X. Now, I want to show you how these are the velour, but the pattern is stamped into it. And I don't know if you can really see that, but this has actually an animal print, like a cheetah print, stamped into the fabric. So it's got a little bit of, um, you can't really feel it, but it would sort of be more of a texture than a print. It's like embossed. So this is, a. I thought it was cute because there's two different animal prints, but this one is subtle. So they're both 2X. So Lene and then those beautiful black Lux leggings, 164. I know Lene and Elizabeth are killer. Here we have that Lene one last time, the extra large, and I'm showing with great outdoors. Here you have it with, where is my tag? 2X. This is going to be 2X Berlin. It is corduroy. It's a jacket. And it's fantastic together. It's a cute little outfit. The leggings in that last one, uh, those are 2X. This is number 24. It is a 2X Berlin jacket and it's an extra large Lene. That is really fun together. Green on green. But now check this out. Okay, so here's an Aaron, and it's so cool. And I was very excited about how well it matched these leggings. So these, I've been calling these topaz. This color is topaz. So this is a large topaz great outdoors legging and an extra large Aaron. And look at this beautiful, again, see how long this shirt is. You can't even see the bottom of it on the screen. So it's very, very long. So here you have extra large and large. So this really goes well together and it is like a warm, like a sunset, sunset colors. So that's outfit 54. Now here goes a gray here, here in Lene, there were a few that were still the stretchy ribbed. Okay. So when we see ribbed Lene, we usually get really excited. So three X gray stretchy ribbed Lene. And I put this with a pair of TC2 floral leggings. And that's number 58. Everyone always looks for these ribbed Lene. They're extra stretchy. <clears throat> okay. I love this Aaron. Now this is, Eliza does not like floral. We know this, but some of you do. Okay. Look at this Aaron. This is so pretty. All kinds of roses. And this is a 2X. It has like a charcoal gray background. And I love these just romantic roses, bunches and bunches of roses on here. And I matched it with the plum great outdoors leggings. This pair is extra large. So the top is a 2X and the leggings are XL. So that's a possibility. Um, Eliza would be the, these, this pair for you too. They are extra soft too. Everything is extra soft when it's LuLaRoe. Okay, this is number 51. So 2X on top, extra large on the bottom. Now I am going over these two Stacys one more time because I don't really think we had a chance to show them a whole bunch before Christmas came and everything else. So in the Chambray collection, we got Stacy. 
it was made with that beautiful, soft, silky chambray material. This one is a large. The Stacy is the dress that buttons all the way down and it's got the tie at the waist. So large, and this is a green with a white polka dot and it's that beautiful chambray material, very soft and silky. Stacy in chambray, <clears throat> It's a little bit more than regular Stacy. I think regular Stacy's 50. I want to say these are like 52. They're like a little bit more because of the chambray material. And Lisa says size envy. So that is 246. And then this one is a gunmetal gray. So it is a shiny, deep, dark gray, like charcoal or gunmetal or almost like a pewter. Um like a hematite stone would look. So this is number 59. This one is extra large. So the extra, extra large Stacy, and it's great because you can, like I said, use our brass buttons and you can pop them all the way open, wear a tank underneath it or whatever you want to do and make some layering pieces out of it. So those two Stacy's, I think they turned out great in the chambray material. They are winners. Now here we have an Aaron 3X. So this is a beautiful Aaron 3X. And you know what? It does go with those topaz leggings, but for purposes of this show, I actually put them with some TC2, like a brick red, like a dark brick red. So 3X floral Aaron, and then those brick red solid leggings. So this is number 251. Now here I have, um, from the great outdoors. This is Abigail. This is your button down. It's a thick uh, material. It's woven. This one is silver in color, extra large. And I'm showing it with some one size leggings. They look like frozen leggings. They look like they're from Anna and Elsa. So that's number 89. And here we have another fantastic pair of the Lux leggings in the, um, <clears throat> What did I say this material was? It was the Cassie material. The, I just forgot it. And I just said it earlier in the show. How did I forget? It's right on the tip of my tongue. What's the Cassie? Liverpool. So anyway, they are Liverpool. They're a plaid. This is 3X and Berlin Extra Large. So the Berlin is a dark, dark brown. It's a dark brown corduroy Berlin jacket over the Lux leggings. They are a plaid and they are made out of Liverpool. You can see that um, uh, texture on the material. So this is number 118. Now, again, and I love this, Abigail, this is a really cool uh, plaid because it's got the blue in it. I think it's really neat. Um, so I'm, I pull out the blue by showing you these Lux leggings. These are extra large. This is the faux leather. So extra large faux leather. It's like a royal blue. And it's in the Abigail plaid, you can see. So that's extra large and extra large. They're both extra large. Very cute outfit. Number 172. And then 2X Berlin. And this is like a very warm brown color. This is your corduroy jacket. And then these are TC2. They are like an Aztec pattern. Number 49. So now this, this is a Nora. So I have a few Nora left, not too many. This one is 3X and it is the Hachi material. So warm, sweatery material, different shades of blue. There's a lot of purple in there too. And then I put these with the corduroy great outdoors leggings in size 2X. This is a royal blue. This is the color I need. I have every color in these leggings except for the blue. They've sent me medium in like every other color, but I never got medium blue. So this is outfit 22. And so you have a 3X Nora and then the blue corduroy great outdoors leggings. Beautiful outfit. 
Now, Abigail Medium, and this one is like a, a purple, but like a plum purple. And I'm showing it with these one size leggings that have the perfect color in there. In the roses, this is number 99. And that is a Medium Abigail. I'm moving rack down a little bit so I can reach. Cool. Okay. Um, 2X Abigail Forest Green. And these are thick enough, they almost could be worn as a shirt jacket, like a shacket. And then here you have some distressed size 40 boyfriend jeans. And this is number 117. Now, this one is a 3X Abigail dark, dark, solid brown. And I'm showing it with the Ivy Snake print skirt. I know, I think Eliza has that one. So that's number 34. And so you have 3X Abigail dark chocolate brown. This is the Moto outfit I tried to recreate. What you could do is you could really take, like, if you have a navy blue tank top um, or white or you know, maybe a gray. See, this is 3X. So this is like I was wearing oversized, oversized, oversized on the Renee. So it did look like flash dance because it fell down off one shoulder and you could see the little tank top. So this is 3X Renee. And then these are extra large moto in the blue. So it's like a navy blue moto pair of leggings shown on a silver and white 3X Renee way oversized for me anyway at 3x so that's number 37 this open weave renee is like super super stretch anyways because this 3x is is larger than the other renee 3x it was just how the way that they when they made this open weave it kind of just expands on the hanger okay now i have extra large nora i just love nora but it's been out of stock i know love the roses well Wait till you see the next pair of leggings coming up. This pair, we've got flowers here on a navy background, and then I've got, so this pair is TC, and this pair is one size. So I figured with this Nora, you could go either way. So it's a soft, hachi material, blue, with a little bit of heathered blue, Nora, and it's extra large. Nora is that boat neck shirt that we have, and then I've got leggings choice. So you could go either way with the leggings. So this is number 26. Nora happens to be what I'm wearing. So I have the boat neck, which you can see is starting to fall off one side. But I like boat neck. So the same shirt here, um, extra large, number 26. So now here we have, this is a Harper. This is Harper sweater in hot pink, extra large. And look at these gorgeous leggings. These are brand new. TC, look at those flowers. And it's a really nice match, the pink and the pink. So nice hot pink Harper, extra large, TC leggings. Harper's are probably not going to be on here, is it? It is $55 for the Harper sweater. So that's $185. And then lastly, I put a Hannah, which I mentioned earlier. Put this Hannah, tie-dye Hannah. It's a large large tie-dye Hannah. And these are going to be the blue. These are extra large blue corduroy great outdoors leggings. So kind of a dark, it's a dark um, tie-dye anyway, because it's like a blue, blue and white over the black background. It's a little hard to see. You can kind of see the pattern right there. And then these leggings come in and match the blue of the tie-dye. So that is going to be outfit number 90. Now, does anybody need anything shown again or any explanations of anything that I did show or any questions about anything? Because we have so many new things and, you know, like that's not even counting the Eliza, which I haven't had a chance to get yet. And then if not, I will sign off 
and leave the replay up for people to watch the replay. I'm talking to you, Joyce Roberts. <laughs> Are you guys all working? It's probably because it's a month. Well, are you at work or not? Because with it being a national holiday, some of you may be at work and some of you maybe not. And so I didn't know. I don't. I didn't really want to go live at night because it seems like it just gets so dark down here in the basement. And I know I have lights, but it's not the same. It just feels dark and chilly and it gets dark so early. I hate to come down here and then I feel like I'm kind of in a cave, you know, going live. <laughs> So I thought, let me go live while it's still light outside and um, just see if I can catch some people in the afternoon. And I did catch some of you. So that's a good thing. But anyway, let me know if you have any questions. You can always um, private message me or text me. Also, you can check out my new website because we have a new website and it's www.elainefederico.com and everything will be there. There will be links ultimately to my um, I'm going to move my counseling practice website over there so that it's all kind of under one umbrella because everything is so spread out. And I just wanted people to have one place to go so they could get the LuLaRoe. They could find out about the counseling center. Tiffany is making things for us. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany is working on February. We skipped January because as you can see, I haven't had a whole lot of stuff going on in January. Um, but everything will kind of be under one umbrella. My blog will be there. So it'll kind of be like one-stop shopping. My <laughs> link to my page about my hip surgery, if anybody's interested in reading about that. Which I have a little group on Facebook that I update with my recovery info. Kind of, you know, to help people who are looking to get hip surgery and what to expect. So they sort of know tips and tricks and, you know, kind of what I went through. So my watch, my Apple watch is telling me I have to stand up. <laughs> I just stood up. I was just standing. Keep moving for one minute. I was just standing. You saw me. I was standing up. Okay. I will let you guys go then. Um, and I don't know when I will be live next. I'm trying to figure out what to do because I don't have a whole lot of ordering capital right now. And so even though there are things I'm looking to buy, I need to sell some things first. So um, I'm a little bit stuck, but um, my Apple watch is bossy. Heather, you still have packages out front of my house. And I mentioned you earlier in the sale because I was talking about the new Eliza being a hoodie that has a V-neck. So it doesn't get up like this around your neck. So it'd be a good item for you, but I haven't been able to afford to get any. So we'll see. We will have to see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Well, they're still out there, but your name is getting faded off of the package. <laughs> right? I know. I think it would be a good item for us to get. I just, I happened to order the Linda and I love the Linda. And um, then I did that and didn't have enough money to get the Eliza because I didn't even know the Eliza was a thing until they announced if they were going to launch it. I had no idea that they were going to do a hoodie with a V-neck. I mean, like they didn't tell me. <laughs> okay. I, it will be out there for you. And you probably should just grab everything in the bucket because it's probably all yours. <laughs> so Anyway, it was good to see you guys. Um, it's been a while. So, uh, but check out the replay. I know that there are going to be some replay shoppers. So I will keep an eye on that. And if you have any questions, just send me a message directly or you can comment. I mean, I'll pick up the comment if you, I'll see it. I'll get a notification. Whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, either way, I'll see the notification. And remember, ElaineFederico.com. Um, yeah, it is a good alternative to Amber. There is a, there's actually a live feed of my Facebook page on the landing page of my new website. And so that's really cool because it updates like every day. So you can just always go to that website and then you can click through there. That has every link. You can click to my shopping link. You can click to the group, um, everything. So 
it's easy to remember elainefederico.com. You don't have to worry about all these other website things. So just go there. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to donate to your local animal shelter or other animal charity for in honor of Betty White. And I will see you guys sometime soon.